Hey there fellow Vault Hunters, Kato Genesis here, bringing you a guide to the legendary Night Flyer pistol in Borderlands 3. In this guide you can expect to be shown where to find it, and the kinds of things it can do for you in this no-nonsense guide. Let's begin. On your second trip to Pandora, you eventually unlock the area called Carnivora, the carnival for bandits. The rare spawn you were looking for, Rackman, is located in the area. After you get past the carnival attractions, there's a wide open area that you can drive around in. To the southwestern section of this area is where Rackman spawns. The upside of this rare spawn over many others is you will know he's there when there is the Rack symbol up in the sky. A clear Batman reference, and you'll be able to see the Rack signal seconds after loading in, and even though he's supposed to be a creature of the night and all that kind of stuff, he will show up during the day too, the Rack signal is just harder to see. I figured it was very important to mention that. You don't have to wait until nighttime. So once you see the Rack signal, drive on over to the secret layer and fight off Rackman for a chance of getting the Night Flyer. That's where you get it, let's go over the stats. The Night Flyer is a doll manufactured pistol, with a secondary fire button that switches zoom on your aiming, and is a burst fire weapon. The flavor text says, I have one rule. In reference to Batman, as if there wasn't enough already, this pistol can't kill enemies on its own. It'll get them down to less than 5% and then stop doing damage to them. Which is really funny, and also there is ways to work around this. If you have any passive elemental effects, those will take care of them. Grenades, melee, each of those things can kill off your target too. Just the Night Flyer itself will not kill your target. But for the amount of damage it'll put out, it still makes it a viable pistol if you're able to kill enemies after getting them into that weakened state. I did also just think of the Circles of Slaughter and their optional objectives, like say you're supposed to get barrel kills, melee only kills, and such. The Night Flyer does make that a lot easier too, by disallowing the fatal damage from it. Anyway, that's what you can expect with the Night Flyer. What do you think? I think it's a great Batman gag myself. So how long did it take you to farm yours, and what kind of uses have you found with it? Let me know in the comments. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, do whatever you see fit to show that. And if you'd like to join the incredible supporters through Patreon, along with Wasteland Legend Sven, you can do so here and in the description. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the galaxy like you own it.